Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. I get asked a lot on different questions um, of different lengths of rides, what kind of products to use, stuff like that. I did a video. I still get hit up a lot on, um, hey, what if it's a three-hour ride or what if it's a four-hour ride? I don't know your, like some person asked me the other day, if it's a 30-mile ride, what should I use? You know, I, if I don't know what fitness your level you're at or I don't know, you know, if it's got heels in it or stuff like that, I can't answer that question for you. So I wanted to give you what I kind of do on another something way to think about it. So if it's a one hour ride, I'm going to a spin class or I'm doing something like that, I use this right here. This is all I use in my bottle, okay? Um, it's Glutamine Select. I get it from Beverly Internationals. Uh, it's a weightlifting product, to be honest with you. So you, you don't even see it in the cycling end of the world. That's what I use. Works extremely well for me. If you get cramps in your legs, if you're cramping, put this in your bottle. It's the number one thing that saves me from cramps when I have a really bad day on the bike or I start to have a problem, I'll drink this directly even afterwards if I forgot it. That's the product I use. Um, I use it for cramping mainly. I use this for one hour rides because I'm already taking my nutrition and my vitamins and in one hour I'm going to use a lot of energy but I need good, uh, I need good vitamins and stuff like that for repair and healing during that time period but I'm not going to be sweating so much I feel like that I need a uh, I need something else so I, I, I really just use this right here I don't know if that answers your question but um, I I love it for that reason and it works really well for me now I also put it in my bottle like I said before for long rides if I know that I'm gonna run into an issue where I'm pushing so hard and my legs might start to cramp it helps me with that for some reason I, I love it for that reason I am not a nutritionist. I'm not here to tell you I am. So I'm just telling you what works for my body. If I'm going on a two hour ride, okay, two hour plus ride, I start to sweat a lot. I go to Scratch Labs. I use this product right here. Scratch has tons of different types of products and I'll put it in my bottle. I'll put some stuff in the back of my jersey. 30 mile ride for me is from my house to the top of Kelly Canyon and back. If you follow me on Strava, you'll see I do that ride a ton. This is all I'm throwing in my bottle right here. I'm using this. If it's a really great day and I want to, I throw that in there. But for sweating and stuff like that, I love this. It works really well for my body. So how it works well for my body is this. I don't need in two hours, I'm not going to cramp usually, hardly, but I am going to sweat a ton. So the one thing I need is electrolytes because I'm sweating really bad. And so I really take the electrolytes into account to make sure I'm getting very hydrated. And if you look at Scratch Labs, that's one thing that happens for you is you get a lot of hydration out of your water. It helps you do that. Plus you get the electrolytes that you need. And then I can use regular food um, because it's not that long. So at the top of an hour, I grab something, 45 minutes, I'm pounding that. I've got a full bottle in me of water. I've got another bottle that I, they'll finish me off for the other 45 minutes that I'm going to be riding and food. So that's all I really need for two hours, which is about 30 miles for me. Okay, so there's that. <coughs> um, if it's got a hill in it like Kelly Canyon does. So there's that. Um, anything over two hours. When I start hitting three, four hours and on, I go to this product right here, Carb Sport. If you haven't tried it, try it. Now I'm going to tell you something I hear a lot on Carb Sport. They say, I don't like the taste. It, you know, it really doesn't have much of a taste to it. There's a reason for that and that's what I like it for and everybody seems to try it in an hour ride or two hours. They don't, they don't get out on a long, long enough ride. When you hit four hours, five hours and you've been drinking something that really has got a strong taste to it, that strong taste becomes so overbearing you will not want to take the product. This being a dulled taste will let you get all the nutrition you need in your bottle and on those longer time periods you'll still want to take it because it doesn't have that strong of a taste. So keep that in mind. So one thing you can do I guess if you want to is use a stronger tasting product up until about four hours then go to this. I don't have to worry about any of my nutrition at that point in time. I can just go right to my bottles, keep riding and enjoy myself. Sometimes I do take some fruit leather and put it in my back of my pocket just because I like something to chew on and my stomach thinks it needs something in it. I use that in conjunction with this but that's the only time. Everything else is in here and I pack some sodium pills with me. So I use what's called S caps. If you don't know who they are, look them up, S caps. They're an ultra runners, use them a lot and I use S caps along with this. That gives me my perfect sodium that I need in there and uh, works extremely well. So that's what I use on the three different types of rides that I do and that I mainly do. So our ride, 
basically two hour ride, pushing three hours, anything above three to four hours, I'm using everything right here. Last thing I wanna cover in this video is the most important thing after any ride, I don't care if it's an hour or if it's a five to six hour ride, is recovery. There's two things that I use in recovery. I'm gonna step off the camera that I like and I love. Okay, number one, right here. You'll see this is a recover right from Hammer Nutrition. Hammer Nutrition Recover Right, you cannot go wrong with, period. I've used it ever since I've started cycling, and you need to do that for yourself. It's just one of those things, it's a must in your cycling regimen. There is another product called Carbo Rocket, and it is amazing too. I use this, and this is called Rehab. It's a recovery drink. This chocolate is absolutely amazing. Um, I really, really highly recommend one of these two products. They both have a different taste to them, um, but they both work extremely well. Um, but do something for recovery. If you don't, you're going to regret it. Also, Carbo Rocket has a product that's similar to this product right here um, that I can use on a long ride. Um, once again, it's got a different taste to it than what this has. It, it's a little stronger. Um, so you've got to decide what works best for you. And maybe it's both of them in conjunction. That I don't know. You're going to have to decide those things. So just a really quick recap. If you do an hour ride right here, this is it. You know what? You might use a lot of this because you're doing lots of training. You can tell we're in our training center right now. The Compu trainers are down here. All of our gear behind us. So if you're doing training rides, that's why this is right here in the room. This is the way to go. If you're going longer than that, you're going two hours or a little longer, and let's be clear, we do that here in the training center also. So the pain cave right here, we're, sometimes we're at three hours. I go exact same nutrition in the training as I do if I was out on the road. That's why this is in here. So you'd want to go to this right here, and you'd want to um, make sure that you've got food or whatever you're going to eat along with that in here. <coughs> right here, if I'm going long time or doing a longer distance ride, Anything above three hours, you want to go with something like this. It's all in your bottle. It takes everything, all the thought out of it. Maybe just a little piece of something in your pocket. Now, you may go through more of this because you're doing more two-hour rides, which I do a ton of. And then on weekends, I'm doing this kind of thing. So think about, you're not going to have to buy tons of this, but I'm giving you simple products to buy to cut your costs down. And we're going to have descriptions all in the link. So if you want to know where to buy these things at or where to get them, just go to the descriptions. And then recovery, simple. All you do is get done off the bike, get one of these products in your body, and your recovery is done for you. And you're ready to rock and roll. So keep it simple, but keep it to where it works for your body. That's the main thing I'm trying to get across from you, for you, and uh, help you with. So if you have any questions, jump down below, write it. If you want to know where to get the products, just go in the descriptions. They're already there for you and uh, we'd love to help you keep cycling strong.